Now, an investigation is underway. Police looking for leads as to who fired a gun inside Kennywood Park, injuring three people on Saturday night. Now, we do know that there was a gun recovered near the scene, but it has not officially been connected to the crime. The gun was stolen from Columbus, Ohio. But this morning, in an inter interview you will see on Just One Station, the family of one of those shooting survivors is speaking out. Our Brianna Smith joining us live with this exclusive interview. So, Brianna, what did they say about this? Well, Lindsay and David, the family says they were terrified, as you could imagine. And now as Brandon Ward recovers at home, his family wants answers from Kennywood management about how a gun got inside in the, uh, the park in the first place. Now, Brandon Ward's fiance, Lori Metrovich, says they watched their daughter wait to get on the Music Express when they saw a large group of teenagers with hoodies and masks on and without a chaperone. Metrovich says shortly after, shots were fired and Ward was hit in his left thigh. She says police applied tourniquets to his leg and another victim begged for her help. Metrovich says meanwhile everyone scattered, including their 10-year-old daughter. We started running and um, like I didn't look back or anything and then we heard like two gunshots and we were like really scared. I didn't see my parents still and I like was really scared and worried about them. I started to cry and just like I prayed and I hoped he was like okay and just like like please make him okay. Now the family is relieved that they are reunited and as for the two 15 year old boys who were hurt in the gunfire, they're also recovering at home. Now the Kennywood spokesperson says security and policy plans are still being finalized so we're waiting to hear back about that. But in the meantime, you'll want to stay with KDK on air and online at KDK.com for the latest developments. Reporting live this morning, Brianna Smith, KDK News. Brianna, thank you for the latest on that, but there are still questions surrounding Kennywood's security, both before the shooting and the response in the moments after it happened. Now, we reached out to the CEO of International Theme Park Services. He consults with parks around the world on issues, including security. He says many parks are seeing more fights and conflicts since the pandemic, and most have increased their security with technology, plain clothes officers, and active shooter training. Parks around the world have been ramping up their active programs, which include active shooter programs, what to do, how to evacuate, how to get the police in, take care of both their guests and their employees. You just have to keep reacting with based on what kind of situations you're you're faced with. And I know that company, I know that park, and I know they will take it to the highest level uh, possible. Uh, to make sure that their guests and their employees are uh, safely taken care of. KDK has asked the Kennywood spokesperson if the park had an active shooter plan in place or if there were any security issues the night of the shooting. They would not answer those questions. Stay with KDK on air and online as we continue to follow every angle of this story on the chaos at Kennywood.